Hey everyone, Paul the Trombonist here. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips that helped me be able to play fast on the trombone, so don't go anywhere. thing that we got to really realize about the trombone that makes it different than any other instrument is the trombone doesn't have any buttons or mechanisms where a lot of other instruments can rely on the buttons and mechanisms to be able to not re-articulate the notes. They just are able to blow air and they're able to press down buttons and blow through their fingering on the various instruments to be able to play at a faster speeds. Now the trombone is a very interesting in the sense that we actually have to re-articulate each individual note. So we want our tongue muscles to be stronger than most. And if you actually notice, if you're in an ensemble and there's like a, a part in the music where the music requires for the musicians to be very detailed in their articulation and to use a lot of tongue in it, the saxophones always have a really hard time with it because they're so used to just blowing through the fingerings and the trombones always nail it. And that's because the trombone enables you to exercise the articulation muscles in the tongue better. So we have to work with that as a trombonist. And one of the ways we do it is we strengthen our tongue. And this it actually can apply to any instrument is it's our human instinct to tense up. We, we have an instinct to tense up when we play, and especially if something's at a fast tempo. When something's at a fast tempo, we automatically tense up because we, it's exciting. The music makes you feel excited. But you actually don't want to do that. You want to be as relaxed as possible because the more relaxed you are and the more lightened up you are, the lighter you play, the faster you can play. So one way to practice it and how I practice it was on the major scales, okay? The major scales really did it and you're gonna want your metronome. So you got your metronome and you got your major scales and then that enabled me to be able to build up the facility to play quicker tempos. So what you wanna do is you just wanna start, you wanna find the spot where you are the You want to find the spot where you feel the most comfortable at the fastest speed you can play. Find that spot on the metronome and then do it over and over again. And then what you do, what I did, was I would just move up the metronome markings like by three, like three to four to five clicks every time. And the articulation I use when I play fast passages is D A H Da. Da articulation. When I use the Da articulation, it somehow enables me to play at a faster speed. That was da 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 Another thing that you gotta be very careful of is the your wrist movement. You wanna make sure that it's mostly in the wrist and it's not in the arm when you're using your slide because that's gonna create extra tension. And as I'm sure many of you know, tension is the enemy of the musician. Not necessarily in the music, because tension and release in the music is good, but tension as an instrumentalist is not good and it prohibits you from being able to execute things as efficiently as possible. You want stuff to flow out of you in the same way that when you speak flows out of you. Very relaxed. Uh, we're not straining, unless we're yelling at somebody, we're not straining to speak. We're just going naturally. So that's really what you want to do when you play. You want to make sure he's relaxed as possible. So what I do is I do, I take it up. And I get, I just move it faster and faster on the da. And I do that for all keys. 
all scales, all major scales. You can do it for the modes too, you can do it for arpeggios. But the metronome is what's gonna keep you honest. You're gonna wanna use the metronome because the metronome is gonna keep you honest. What helped me was using DAH articulation, practicing on the metronome where it's the most comfortable and then moving it up a few clicks suddenly and then not moving on until that one is really solid. Making sure that your slide technique is relaxed and it's all on the wrist and not so much the arm. And that's really it. Uh, that's very that's pretty much it and then as things evolve there are other tricks on the trombone that can actually help you play fast without using your tongue there's a whole way of playing where you cannot use any tongue and just blow through the partials we call it against the grain with the grain and it's a, a form of a lip slur where you're just blowing through it and uh once you some people get that together <laughs> And that's just blowing through it. So that's another little color you can add into your palette. And what's going on there? Well, it's just, it's a form of a lip slur. So you're going to want to get your lip slurs together. So slow, it's like this. It's all air, and it's all controlling the muscles here. You're gonna want to make sure your corners are in. As you're gonna make sure you want your corners in. Corners in. Strengthen this. Uh, lots of air. Blow right through that. And over time, if you practice that slow and you keep doing it, you develop the muscles. You're able to control your airflow. Your see, lip slurs are all about how you navigate your air through the different partials. That's all it is. Okay. My debut album's out, folks. Thank you all. It charted. Amazon bestseller, 26th bestselling jazz album, 34th bestselling electronic album in the first week. The link's down below in the description. I want to thank all the patrons for helping make these videos possible. They're the best. You can become a member, get your name on here, get special downloads and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, link's in the description for that as well. It's Paul the Trombonist t-shirts in the description. I'm always getting asked what equipment I use. Always. So I made it simple for you all. I put all the equipment that I use in the description so you can check that out. I put up videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays so be sure when you subscribe to hit the little bell so you get notified so you can be the first to check it out. Otherwise it sometimes gets lost in the YouTube algorithm of, of fun. You know how that happens. But you're the best really. I just, I just thank you all so much for stopping by these videos. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it and I'll be back with the next one real soon. So take care. Bye-bye.